Hello there, everybody. Welcome on into today's video. Greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day. Swing on over, check it on out. Uh, today, we're going to be exploring Itzy's solo songs on their new album. Uh, just the snippets, just the little MVs that they put out over the past, I don't know how many weeks. It's been like, what, th two weeks, three weeks, something around there. Uh, so we're going to be exploring all of them. Now, they're all roughly about a minute and a half minute 40 somewhere around there um but we will explore the whole song when the album releases do not worry i do plan on um doing an album reaction for them as well um but we will be doing all five all right so leah did post a lyric video about a month this whole ago for Blossom. So we're going to be listening to that as well. I felt it was right to explore all five solos, not just for um, just because it's a lyric video doesn't mean we're not going to enjoy. And I can't wait to, to hear this song from her and uh, then the full song on the album. But that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to actually start off, kick it off with Leah um, Blossom. Then we're going to go in order based off of release, basically. So Yeji's Crown on My Head, Rujin's Runaway, Cheirong's Mine, and then Yuna's Yet But. That's what we're going to do. CC's, I love to see it when I open up a video and there they are. Uh, but yeah, no. Other than that, we will, in a few days, be on the lookout. I probably will have the uh, Untouchable MV reaction and review up on the channel. So feel free if you'd like to check that out. They'll be popping up in a few days from now. Uh, but yeah, we're going to check out the solos. So let's head it. Let's go. All right. Volume. Good. Oh. No one's gonna burn me, nobody else No one's gonna help me, nobody else You've been born and born that guy Took a pack on up soon I'm waiting for my turn You know that I'm waiting for my time But don't care about it, don't care about me That's just a door, no, no, that's not for me Up to the neck, but to the city, oh, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a I'm not I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a it's not late, not late to give me love. Now don't go to go shit. How was I like? How was I like? How was I like? I was not expecting this when a title is Bloom. We were not like, we were not, we were not, we were not. Her vocals, though. What? Are you kidding me? Is that it? Is that it? Is that all we're getting? Okay, thank gosh. Waiting so long and you've been waiting for me. Sorry, excuse me, Leah. Hello, please. One, can we just talk about the lyrics in that video and how, in a weird way, it's heartbreaking? Is she, it's almost for me listening to the lyrics or reading the lyrics because this song came out a month ago, she's been on hiatus for a hot minute. And I know she wanted to have a song on this album and she pre-recorded it, but it's almost in a way for me, her talking about her struggles a little bit and why she's taking this break. Which she deserves and needs, and I can't wait for her to be back, but take as long as you need. Leah, as long as you need. I, we just want you better. We just want you in a good place. So. Um, but was not expecting that beat from a title called Blossom. I was expecting a ballad, to be completely fair. Uh, her vocals, though, man, after listening to the past two songs, Born, um, Born to Be and then 
Mr. Vampire, not having that type of vocal in there. I miss it. I truly do. She adds a little something. Her vocal tone is is slightly it's different than all of theirs. She has a little bit of a. I don't even know how to explain it. She just has just that little extra in her voice. It's just so pretty. I don't know if that's the best way I can explain it. It's, I don't know. I just love it. I love her. I can't wait for her to be back, but um, I'm glad she's she's taken some time. She's taken some time. Sometimes we need it. It's just just not idols. Sometimes it's be it just just people too. Sometimes we need a little break. Hence why I'm also taking a little break at the end of this month. I just need some me time. But all right, yeah, juice next. What is this? Am I getting a rock song from Yeji? for me in this comeback. Seriously. The smirk. What is this? What is this? What is happening? What are all of these solos? Can we just talk that we basically got a little bit of a mini rock song from Yeji? I can't wait to hear the whole thing. That little flow she did too. Near the end. Ma'am, please. What is this? I'm now very intrigued on what I'm going to get from all the other members. Swan was not expecting Leah's bloom to sound like that. Crown on my head, I was expecting a pop song, but not a little bit of a rock beat with the electric guitar in the background. Ooh. She's such a good dancer, too. I love her dance style. She's just, Yes. She is part of the bias line. Her and Rujin just get me every single time. Cannot. Both vocally, visually, dances. Yes. Personality. Absolutely. Okay. Just gotta know. Rujin? Weather's this good. Make a bow flake. Rocking my bad is boots on my way to show off. See my visually right into your face. I'm gonna cut you off clean, blowing kisses goodbye. Toxic, take home at the mighty age and dog care. Sick, I'm a cat. I bought him up. I can't go one day to tabby up. So, no, you get it. So, don't play the hip. I love her singing tone.
what is what is happening? I got like a punk rock emo song from Rujin. Her singing, though, once again, can we just talk about her singing? I am so excited. I want to hear the whole song. I'm wondering if she will have a rap first or it's just going to be a whole singing. All sing. Yes. That little bit of a lower, softer tone. I'm obsessed. Literally obsessed. Cannot. What is what is this playlist that I have created for myself? I'm getting different styles and a little bit different genres from so far three of them that I really was not expecting. Which is fantastic. I love when I'm surprised on what I'm hearing. What vibe was that? I'm trying to think of another artist that it reminded me of. It's a it's a Western artist. Crap, I'll think of it at some point. Maybe it maybe and then I'll let you guys know in another video. But it has a specific little style on a grunge pop punk vibe. That's what I got from the song. These MV styles are gorgeous too. You know it's real to me I've seen the moment you can go. Confusing me. I love her. But this is gonna do the light. No light. Oh, oh, he just don't get so up to now. Your mom and I'm getting something. Give you a chance to prove it now. Tell me, sir, take it off. I want more though. No, 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 no. Why, why are they only a minute 30? Jerome, what are you doing? What is this? Okay, this is the only one so far that I expected this type of style based off of her vocal tone. I was expecting this, but that little beat drop, having a lower just everything. Also, visually, what was this MV? Was she chasing herself? That's what it seemed like. Or a doppelganger? I just want a full video. All of these MV styles so far have just been wild. I have no idea what just happened. I can't wait to hear the whole song. Her vocals sounded really, really pretty. Really good. I, yes all of it what is what is yana gonna give me i don't know to be completely fair no idea this okay she in space okay yeah no i expected this not to gonna lie i expected this
Okay. What? Really? What? <laughs> oh my word, of course you know. But <laughs> of course. It's so it fits her. It really does. This is the style that I was expecting. Yes. <laughs> Almost it was like a space Barbie. <laughs> Space Barbie concept. That's it. That's what this was. It's very funny to me, in a way. Going through all of these MVs, we we went very dr starting off. Let's just start off with Yeji's, right? Because MV style. We're talking MV style. Um, very dark. Hits hard, dark lighting, everything. And then we move on to uh, Rujin's same type, darker kind of concept. Even Cherong's dark concept. And then BAM! You can. <laughs> you nuts. It's just Space Barbie. That's it. That's it. They're all so good. They're all so good. It fits. The concept fits, too. Her vocals were really good, too. Oh, my word. What were these? I cannot wait to hear the whole album and hear the whole song that will be coming up. We might not get to a rate at release, um, but I will be doing it sometime during the month. <clears throat> I do promise. Maybe I haven't decided yet. Actually, based off these songs, I might buy the album. I still can. It's still still available. Maybe I'll buy the album. We'll do an album unboxing because I am going to be doing a ton of those this month as well. I have a ton of albums that I need to unbox um, that I've just been collecting over the past couple of months. Maybe I'll we do have I do have a Nitsy album that I'm going to be doing. Maybe I'll do Born to Be 2. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are. What one was your favorite? What style did you like? Were you surprised on any of these styles or it, it was it just me? I was a little surprised on a few of them. Um, but then there's others and I was like, yes, this fits you. Other than that, yeah, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to listen to Untouchable. That will be in a few days. So keep the lookout if you want to uh, if you want more itsy, it will be coming soon. So that have a great one guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i will catch you on that next one later